Hello there, this is Cindy B at CindyBDesigns.com and welcome to my Clean and Simple Tuesday series on Wednesday. We're going to make this and it's a combination of products from the catalog that's going to expire next week on Wednesday. And a combination of new products and a couple carryovers. So I have this card here. It's super easy to make. I'm terrible at thre thread nests, but who's ever seen a perfect nest, okay? And then I have this one, and all I did was add the gold sequins on it in threes in that visual triangle. We're gonna go ahead and do this today. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a piece of very vanilla cardstock basic A2 top folding. This is going to be in landscape. Then I went ahead and got a piece of cardstock. This is from the Timeless Elegance Designer Series paper. This is retiring. It's a great way to use up any kind of cardstock that you have left over, but the stripes are really striking. And so you want to be careful how you cut this or else you're going to end up with stripes going this way. Then again, that's a personal preference. So the first thing, ooh, let me back up. Our stamp set is going to be this. This actually came out of a kit that we have that is carrying over because it's a really cool kit and it never stays in stock and it's watercolor wonder and the cards that you can make out of that are fabulous I have like 17 over there because I haven't finished the other three yet but maybe we'll end up going through that at some other video but this is where I got this stamp set tons of really good sentiments. It's a definite keeper and I'm just going to keep it really simple and use the hello. So the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and I'm just getting my powder tool here and putting it right up there because I want to do some heat embossing. I'm going to zoom in a little bit there, get this lined up, I love the fact that it's photopolymer because I can't screw up that bad when I stamp. I'm going to go ahead and use this Versamark Dazzle Champagne. It's several years old. That was in a Stampin' Up! catalog, but I kept it just because it kind of has like a gold tint to it, which I think is really cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some Versamark in here. And I haven't even inked this up in or refilled it in years. I don't even think I have a refill for it. Now I just want to go ahead and put this on the white in the upper left corner. Give that a good press. And cool, because I didn't have anything underneath it. Any generally have to have something underneath it. It's just a good idea when you use any kind of photopolymer stamps. So next off, super simple. Whoa, why is it so blurry? Okay, there we go. I hope that whole thing wasn't blurry. I wasn't looking up. I was stamping down. I'm going to go ahead and grab some gold embossing powder and I accidentally mixed a little bit of sparkly embossing powder in with the regular gold, but it's okay. I still get the same result. And just tap off the excess. If you see little flecks, you can use a paintbrush or just your finger to grab them. I always, always, now anyway, put 
my embossing stuff back together like as soon as I do it. Imagine this all over the place in your desk. It's, it's not a pretty scene. I'm going to go ahead and take my heat tool to this sentiment. You've seen heat embossing all over the place and then I will be right back. Once it cools down, just check the touch. I just grab a paper towel or my tea towel I have sitting around and wipe off the excess. In the process, I bend that corner up so I'm going to want to be sure to put some good adhesive on that. So I'm going to just go ahead and layer on a tremendous amount of adhesive because this is heat embossed, you know it's going to warp. So I'm going to get that down and then we'll get it on to the card. I also noticed that when I cut my cardstock, I have a little bit of some white space up there or something. I'm just going to go ahead and grab a black Stampin' Up! marker and fix it. And that's all it took. So we're going to go ahead and layer this on top of our the base of our cardstock. How I like to do that is just kind of set it up like that. I mainly use my left hand just to make sure that it's all lined up and then the rest goes on there pretty easily. Now as you can see here I have a little bit of overhang and to fix that because the rest looks really well it's probably how I just cut my cardstock was cut a little bit bigger so I'm, all I'm going to do is just take this over to my paper trimmer my guillotine open this up and then just chop that whole thing off. I don't know if I mentioned at the beginning of the video that the Wonder Watercolor Wonder kit is being carried over which is a really cool thing. This is a new product it's just gold thread and how I make my thread nest is I just grab this and then Depends on how big you want it, how many fingers that you're going to use. So I'm just going to wrap it around. And this stuff is really super easy to manipulate. And I'm keeping an eye on where I started it, which is right there. And that's going to be the place that I want to cut it as well, too. And before you do a video, it's really not the best time to clean your desk. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and grab my tweezers just to keep that in line. What I want to do next is I'm going to grab a dab of adhesive because I need just something to keep this down. So I see one in here. Oh, I see both. Okay, hold on. These, I mean, to me, honestly, they take just a little bit of time because you want to keep your nest in the correct shape, but you got to monkey around with it. So that's the basic premise is just to get your ends in the middle there And secure down and I like to use these tweezers so I have pretty much both hands free. There we go. And I want to get this end down as well. Okay, it's down. It's not down. Just other things are down that I don't want down. 
Okay, now that they're both securely down, this looks like a mess. But again, just like that, that's how you manipulate it. And I hope you could see that because I was way too zoomed out. And then you have yourself a pretty nice circle there. So I need to grab a little something just to keep it that way. There we go. Now I'm going to zoom back out because I'm going to show you this new product that we do have that's coming out in, you know, next week. These are the Sweet and Sassy Framelit dies, and all they are is really good nesting dies. You have two different types here. You have this kind of heart, which is your basic, you know, standard. And then you have one with more of a shape over there up at the top. I just went ahead and used the basic. I used this one here, and it was the second one. And then I got a piece of our gold glimmer cardstock die cut the heart out through four dimensionals on the back. I'm going to peel those off right now. I have my backings off. Get that out of the way. And then I'm just going to pop this heart right in the middle there. And the adhesive also helps the thread keep its shape. And you can still manipulate it too. And that is it. Super simple. I think that you have a pretty killer looking card here. Killer is probably not a good word. You have a nice looking card here that was really easy to make. Again, you can easily mass produce them and make them as gifts and send them out to friends, which is a really good idea considering all the sentiments that come with this stamp set. I'm not going to do the inside or anything like that, but I just wanted to show you this really easy, clean, and simple card for my Clean and Simple Tuesdays on Wednesdays. So thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Visit my blog anytime at cindybdesigns.com. And until then, I'll catch you the next time. And thank you so much for watching. God bless and take care. Bye.